2014, level two, electricity. Question three, lamps and resistors on a DC circuit. Stephen connects identical lamps as shown in the diagram below. Lamp A blows, uh, sorry, lamp B blows. State what happens to the brightness of lamp A. So even though there's not a lot of space to answer this question, um, we have to kind of consider um, two different circuit situations and then what's gonna happen. Um, power is the, P equals I times V, is um, the, the formula to work out um, the brightness. The higher the power, the higher the brightness. So um, if the current and the voltage both increase, um, then we're through that section, then we're definitely going to um, get an increase in power and increase in brightness to lamp A. So in the first situation, um, we've got this, this parallel branch here. So that's, if we work in terms of resistance, half the resistance of, of lamp A, really, really roughly speaking, are lamps and non-ohmic conductors, so they don't follow that nice pattern, but we can use it for now. Um, then, uh, and, and, and overall, you can see we've got one and a half R. If lamp B blows across the X, then we're left with two R. So in the blown, so in the overall circuit current is going to decrease because um, you've got less resistance, uh, sorry, more resistance in the circuit once lamp B blows. So more resistance means less current, therefore you would expect the power to drop. Let's just have a quick look at the voltage. Um, initially, uh, because the two parallel um, branches has an overall lower resistance compared to um, the, the A, you're going to divide up the voltage according to the ratio of the resistances, so you'll have a higher voltage in here compared to here, so a lower voltage on this side. So both current and voltage are lowering, which is what you'd expect because V equals I times R, so I times I times R, or I, I squared over R. If the current drops, you're definitely going to have a, a drop, so a little less bright. Okay, that was a really long answer to something that could have been shorter, but I think it's important to get the thorough understanding. Stephen replaces lamp B with a new one. Uh, explain what would happen to the voltage across lamp B and the voltage across lamp A if another identical lamp D was added in parallel as shown on the diagram below. So um, we're assuming that we're starting from the same position we had without the one that I'm wiggling the, the pointer over. So B and C and A uh, and then we add D um, and we're asked to, to describe what would happen to the voltage across lamp B and the voltage across lamp A. So VB find that out, VA, find that out, uh, if another identical lamp is added in parallel. So again, um, if we work with resistance just a little bit, just to work on that, that bright, because uh, we don't need to worry about P this time. Uh, v equals I times R, so we're going to work with I and R. Um, for A, resistance R, very approximately again, because they're non-ohmic conductors, three of them, so one third the resistance, one third R, that's not 1 over 3 R, but 1 third R. Um, so we've gone from, uh, initially we had, from, from up the top in the previous question, um, half R plus R. Now we've got 1 third R plus R. Um, so we're going to less resistance in the circuit, which means more current um, flowing through. So overall more current, therefore we would expect more voltage across A. Um, and if uh, with, with the BCD parallel branch, less resistance there means it's taking less of the ratio of the resistance, so therefore less of the ratio of the voltage. Um, so you divide up the voltage and you'd have 3V and V here. Um, and that's that, that's that ratio, 3 to 1, which means... Well, okay, so you can see that. So that's what's going to happen to the voltage. You can't say exactly it'll be a third or, or anything like that, but you could say approximately, perhaps, and just say in, um, NB or note uh, non-ohmic conductors. Okay, so uh, I think that gives you the gist of how to work that question out. In any case, uh, Stephen then takes a selection of resistors, connects them as shown in the diagram below. Um, calculate the voltage across the 0 0.5 ohm resistor. Okay, so um, this is one series in, in, in series with um, this whole parallel branch, and then you get another little series branch with the 2 ohm and the 4 ohm. Um, six amps, that tells us there's six amps running through that resistor. So if we're calculating the voltage, it's just V equals I times R, um, is the 6.0 amps times by 0 0.5 ohms. Um, your answer um, will be as half of that as three, 
but it's only to one significant figure because this is only to one significant figure, just out of interest. D, calculate the resistance of resistor R. You can your answer by calculating the voltage across each branch. Okay, so if we've got um, the parallel section only, let's just consider the parallel section only, um, the voltage in parallel is going to be the 12 minus that um, minus 3, so it's going to be 9, because you've lost 3 volts across that resistor up the top right. Um, so I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit. So we've got um, the voltage in parallel branch is going to be 9 volts. Um, we've got the total, uh, sorry, the total current um, equaling um, 6.0 amps. Um, so what do we have? Um, oh yes, we can, this is actually a, bit, a little bit longer than we might want to be going for, but um, the voltage in parallel, you're going to have 9 volts um, across um, 6 since the voltage is the same, so you've got voltage across the R is going to be 9, voltage across the 2 plus the 4 is going to be 9, 2 plus 4 is 6 ohms, so then we can work out the current passing through there, I equals V over R, just go with me for this and you can rewind at the end, seeing the end from the beginning, um, which is 9 over 6, 6.0 is 6.0, um, so what is that going to give you, 1.5, 1.5 amps? So if you know there's a uh, change of colour now, 1.5 amps in the bottom section, there must be 4.5 in the top section. So I'm going to do that little calculation in here. So the current equals 4.5, this is the current through R. The voltage across R is 9 volts, same as the other one was before. So in terms of resistance, R equals V over I. Plug in that 9 volts and 4.5 and you end up with uh, 2 ohms. Assuming I didn't do any uh, markups in my calculation through there, you can go back through and have a look. And that's the end of question three.